welcome to Deadly Dames. So I recently asked out of my massive to be watch pile, I sort of selected some movies and asked you guys and Instagram and Twitter and, and on here out of those movies what you would like us to watch and review. So by far the most popular one was definitely Class of 1984. So this is a movie that's actually been in my collection for a very long time and I, I, had, I just hadn't got around to watching it. And I'm really glad that you picked it and prompted me to actually watch it because it's a really, really good movie. So the basics of the movie is this guy who, we're going to guess, recently qualified as a teacher. He's a music teacher and he's got his first job um, as a substitute teacher at, at this school, which um, I would love to try and describe it in another way other than a shithole school. And it's full of... It's got good kids in the mix, but it's, it's been sort of overrun by a, a gang of kids who are selling drugs and, and are just no good, nasty pieces of work. And he still believes in, like, there's a good kid in everybody and he still believes in that he can teach. He's not he's not lost that because obviously he's, he's just got into teaching and he's looking for a permanent job. And we're sort of following him um, starting at this school and he befriends another teacher played by Roddy McDowell who's kind of nearing retirement in it and he's actually lost all hope of being able to teach children and kind of becoming an alcoholic and taking a bit of a nervous break and he's actually really good in this film and he kind of gets the, the the music teacher kind of gets on the wrong side of this gang of kids um, by standing up to them and they don't like that so they decide to take revenge on the teacher and try and make his life a, a living hell the main sort of bad kid this guy here Peter his character's called he's particularly a nasty piece of work and the, ma- the movie basically builds on like the kids doing bad things upon bad things upon bad things to the, the big climax of the teacher views the kids and I mean it's very reminiscent of movies like Class of 1999, only that's sort of the opposite. The, the teachers are robots and the bad kids end up fighting back against robots. But you know what I mean? Like the school's overrun by punk gangs and, and arseholes. And like the first Mad Max, you know, where the anarchy takes over. And movies like The Wanderers, uh, The Warriors, a very similar feel to it. And even like more, like sort of, well, I'm going to say modern, but it's no, it's obviously not a 1980s movie, but. Movies like Dangerous Minds has got a very similar feel to as well, but a teacher going in to teach kids. It's actually a really, really good film. The effects in it are good, the acting in it's good. Very young, and I mean young Michael J. Fox in this, who plays like one of the good kids, who tries to stand up to these guys as well and doesn't work out too well for him. And all I'm going to say is no one should ever attack Marty McFly. Why, why would you do that? But um, I really, really did enjoy this movie. I thought it was... I'm glad I've finally watched it. I'm going to keep it because it's a type of movie that I probably would watch when I am in the mood for a movie like like The Warriors. And definitely if there's any of those other films that I've mentioned that you've seen and you've never seen Class of 1984, then you would enjoy this movie too. It's quite funny because the the sort of main tracks in it set you up because it's Alice Cooper that's the, the sort of opening track and the end theme track. Uh, I'm actually playing, I actually played the titles in the background there and now it's flipped back to the main screen menu. But um, yeah, absolutely love this movie. Would highly recommend it to anybody else who likes those sort of bad kids v teacher type movies. And if um, it's your what you're looking for, go and get it and go and watch it. I'm really glad that I finally did get to watch this film. And thank you very much for watching this review. I know it's a short and sweet one, but I really don't want to ruin too much of this movie for anyone, so I don't want to put any spoilers in it, because it's worth it when you get to the scene where the teacher starts to fight back. Sorry, I'm just going to turn that down. It's quite loud. I didn't realise it was as loud. But, um, yeah, it's really, really worth it when you start to get to the scenes of the teacher's revenge, and I don't want to ruin any of that for you, because it's, it's really good. They get what they deserve is what I'm trying to say. So I would highly recommend this movie. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to go watch the second most popular movie that people selected via Instagram, Twitter and, and on YouTube. Which was... I think it was Dead or Alive was the other one. Dead or Alive, I think, got quite a few votes. So did I Saw the Devil, Gun Woman and Zoltan got some as well. But nobody seemed to want to, want to make watch Evil Aliens, so... Ah, well, I did ask you to choose. So, yeah, I'm going to watch Dead or Alive next. So, um, as always, thank you for watching. Take care.